Hey everyone, welcome back. Um, so this is our f reboot for Baldur's Gate 3. I said it on a different video, but I had a big mess up. So we're rebooting with all the good settings, doing wizard again. Hope you guys enjoy and let's do this. I just finished the game actually on my other file, my um, barbarian. Finished the game at 33 hours, somewhere around there, 33, 35. So what I learn is, because uh, I always play on um, Explorer, I'm not a, I don't like difficulty in games like too much. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, that looks deadly. Um, is I didn't, you don't get multi-classing in Explorer by default. So you have to go to custom and set up Explorer here. And then that way you can uh, get your multi-classing. Which, you don't actually need it on my difficulty, but it's kind of nice to mess with. That's quite the intro, isn't it? Uh, so this is like the 10th time I've watched it. So you guys can judge me for not taking my time and blowing through the game. I didn't blow through it, really. Like, I explored areas that I that looked interesting, and the first area, I, I looked did everything with the goblins and stuff, and Act 2. I didn't like the um, Char's Trials very much. I, I hated that area, but the rest of Act 2 is great. And what I pretty much did is just, I stuck to the main story and I didn't mess around with side quests too much. I did a few, but yeah, I remember also I was talking to someone on Twitter or Reddit and they're like 35 hours. That's like for act one. I'm like, oh, can you take more than 30 hours for act one? I don't get it. Like I did the mountain pass. I did the Underdark, and I did everything and I got it done in like 21 hours for act one. But anyways, here and now, we're going to do Dark Urge, because <laughs> why not? Um, I'm going to change the race to a female half elf, because you could still be, you remember nothing, but okay, so let's get like an evil playthrough. I mean, my mods are probably going to break next week when patch seven comes out, but like, we'll do this anyway, just for fun. So what sub race, Fe high half elf? No, let's do high half. I don't like what else. Glass. Uh, so we are a dark urge. I'm thinking we'll probably do wizard again because I never really got to mess with that. We only got like a few levels, but I'm not a huge fan of magic until quite a bit later, right? But the nice thing about wizards is they can learn spells from scrolls, which I didn't know. I didn't realize this with Gale. Yeah. But anyways. A haunted one. A wicked 
moment, person, or thing that cannot be slain by a sword or a spell haunts your mind and flickers in your peripheral vision. You carry it wherever adventure takes you, or perhaps it carries you. Oh, that's cool. Um, so why do they want me to take so much dex? Wait, no, we want wisdom, don't we? Yeah. Okay, that should be good. I can always change my stuff later. Sleep is so incredibly important, I'm telling you. You need it. I don't need Thunder Wave that much. I can give um, Shadow Heart her Tempest spec for that. Now, let's just edit my character. I usually don't do this with you guys. I usually do this my own. But maybe today we'll, this is different. God, some of these are uh, interesting. I don't know. I guess she looks okay. Like. You have a mirror in camp, so you can kind of just like customize whatever you want, which is really nice. Where to next? There we go. So my characters always look the same in every game I play. Okay, and I always have like I put my um, metallic tint all the way up and gloss. So I think we want that for that complexion. And my favorite are the Tory hair stuff. Oh man, I hate that undercut. I'm sorry if you have that. I just not a fan of it. Oh, it's cool. So I'll keep good like brown. Dark brown. Uh, no highlights. No ginger. Not today, gingers. And um, I think that's fine for now. Yeah, we can always mess around later. You need to him. So I never really mess with the Guardian. You probably know why if you've played the game.
Yeah, when I first watched this, I always felt like Lazel was like the main character. Just because she has so much screen time right away for the videos. She uh, get pr gets promoted a lot. I guess the gay thing he knows. That's the only thing that gets me about her. Here we go again, guys. I've been playing this game so much. That pounding blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. How you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have nothing in your skull. Besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. The dark urge. Whatever that is, that is you. You will claw back the truth. But first, you have to claw your way out of here. So would I have to be a, like a dick to everyone? <laughs> like, just an evil playthrough? Like the evil Dark Urge wizard? Initially, like you're like a sorcerer, right? So I wonder how different this is. Like, is it like really, really different? I heard there's some interesting... um changes good Just Good. oh wait cast to put my hands on everything it's kind of good we're doing this now actually go this way I don't understand the vanilla camera is like not too much different, but native camera tweaks is nice to have. It's either like feel like it kind of feels like Dragon Age a little bit more. I love the facial expressions too on your character. You no Bioware needs to hire their animators. Me this day. Together, we might survive. Or at least like lend them to Bioware for now. If Dragon Age ever falls apart, like if Veilguard sucks and like the company goes under, I hope they give the IP to Larian. We carry mind flayer parasites. Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be geich, mind flayers. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. Do you know where to go? Attacker! Attacker.
Do you think we'll ever get like a game that takes place in Avernus? I've never actually played Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. Like I care, I, li I like the the dungeons and dragons lore. It's really cool, and and this game is really like really really good. Like, but I don't think I would ever want to play D and D. I just wouldn't have the patience for it. Okay, so we're going to Rare Frost. Did I just use Ignis mostly? For now, that's what I'm kind of thinking. I know once you get like fireball and stuff like that and counterspell, it's like wizard is like really cool. On the move. I won't give in. Magic missile? Ooh, 15. Ooh, I should use that. You prove surprisingly adequate in Now, to the hell. Lately it's been major paladin that I've been playing. Paladin in this game is ridiculous. Ridiculously powerful. Like I've cheesed so many boss fights, or like difficult encounters that my barbarian had. That yeah, I just completely destroyed them on my um two-handed oath paladin. I still have my oath. I haven't broken it yet. Time for Every time I, I I'm waiting for those dark urge um voice or you know brackets. I'm smart. SMRT. You feel them drawing energy from the console near to the pod. Are you satisfied? We need to go. No, wait! Even if you leave her here, I... I've heard that, like, she just... She, she'll still get out somehow. But I don't want to leave her behind. Our uh, edgelord. And there's all my mods. Um... Let's take those. Take that. I like to punks at stuff that much. We'll take daisies and dress and shirts. Leave the rest. You can summon the tut tutorial chest anyway. Oh so, yeah, no big deal. But for what? Brain the jar is for the mechanism. Soul appears dormant. The console hums to life. Suddenly, you feel a hideous squirming in your head. The parasite. Then discomfort fades, and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. I'm wise. Uh, apparently not very much. <laughs> Five. Feel the biomechanical brain of the console. You know what's kind of funny about rolls, which I don't care for that much, but you can be like super skilled in a certain ability, and then there's a chance you could just get a one and just abysmally fail at something. You know, whereas like Dragon is, you're just you're guaranteed to open like this certain lock every time. Sometimes the native camera tweaks freaks out or it doesn't work properly like it'll the game tries to take over and think that it's in control still and not modded we are nearing the hell once inside do as i say so they're bringing official mod support to Baldur's Gate like this week like the week of the 4th 5th so that'll be monday that'd be like that's like what the 8th and uh Really excited for that. I heard that console are getting mod support in a month or so. Maybe. Uh, 
And you guys probably noticed, whoa, my camera in the title. I'm not doing part numbers for BG. We're going to be doing like sections. So this is the Nautilus and the next one will probably do the Druid's Grove. And then the Goblin Camp after that and so on and so forth. So today's will be about half an hour. The next two will probably be like two or three hours a piece, I'm thinking. Okay, let's, uh, oh, I guess we're going for the imp. Oh, wait. Guys. I didn't talk to Shadowheart. Oh. Well, okay. It's too late now. I let her out, but I never talked to her. Whoops. Oh, right, because my camera bugged out. Oh, I'm pretty sure you can still finish this without her. Let's try this. Wow, critical fail. Plus seven. That was a bit of a waste. Um, I'm going to armor myself. At the ready. I must reach the helm. The mindful kind of sucks, doesn't he? Dies every time. It's like sometimes it just like doesn't hit for anything. <laughs> it just kind of fizzles. I heard someone say that like if you don't help Gale out of his portal too, that he just you can't get him after that. <laughs> it gets permanently stuck. Thing I've also noticed is that the textures aren't actually lo loading quick and that's apparently been a problem since the last patch. If 
I'm also wondering if it's because the mods that I have. Oh, man, she got clocked by a rock or something. We're up, we're up. Awake, alive. You half expected your memories to return once you were free of the Mind Flayer ship. But your past is still an aching void. If you don't find a way to remove the tadpole burrowed in your brain soon, your future will be as blank as your past. Your head whispers vengeance. You cannot wait to slice your way forth, seeking whatever wrought this tragedy upon you. That's a really weird camera bug. I might see if the mod has to be updated. Oh, there she is. Good. I totally forgot about her. Pungent corpse. Since you awoke on the ship, your mind has been cold and empty. Something stirs with your hands close to this body. You know nothing of why, but you find a half smile flittering across your face. Try right, to remember the last time you stood above a corpse. As soon as you delve into your mind, it is filled with flashes of a thousand different dead. There is something unknown and unspeakable deep within your heart. Hey, okay, that is, uh, wow, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> Reach for the artifact. Wiki Wiki Edgelord. You're alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. First things first. We need supplies, shelter. And most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. We need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. One thing, just before we go. I wanted to thank you again for freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. Yeah, my textures are popping in pretty bad right now. I uh might forget I might get rid of my texture mods if that's the problem. Cause I know most people said it's mostly just a problem in Act 3. So we'll get rid of those mods and uh we'll keep our character mods though. I think I've got like some upscales or something like that. But yeah, um I'll see you guys next time. We're going to do the Druid Grove area and then on the next one after that we'll do the entirety of the goblin camp and the stuff with Carlac and all that jazz and then move on to the Underdark after that so you guys have a great one thank you so much like the video like and sub and take care